Hello, everyone. My name is Selena Jimenez. I am the Employer Brand Manager here at Blue Shield of California, welcoming you to our LinkedIn Live event where we will be discussing our internship program and early career opportunities. I myself am very excited about this as I was a previous intern, but before we dive into our topic, I do want to remind you we will be having a Q&A session at the end, so please drop your questions in the chat box below. And we also have our internship program manager on here to answer any questions that you may have along with a few of our talent advisors. So as I mentioned, I'm really excited about this program and speaking on behalf of it. This is a 10 week opportunity where interns are able to work on real world projects that will help our company initiatives. I'd like to introduce two of the guests joining me today. We have Will Phelps, an intern alumni who is currently on the product marketing team and Natalie Medina, who's a current intern for us on the engagement marketing team. And together we'll be sharing our experiences and primarily theirs along with how this has helped launch their careers. Perfect. So diving in right into our questions, and this is for the both of you. Um, at Blue Shield California, can you tell us a little bit more about the work that you've done during your internship program? Natalie, why don't you go first? Sure. So hi, everyone. My name is Natalie Medina. Um, I am a grad of the University of California, Irvine, and my um, background is in business admin with a special specialization in marketing. Um, so here at Blue Shield, I started uh, working immediately after graduating in June, and I am a marketing intern working with the um, engagement marketing team. Um, and essentially, uh, throughout my first 10 weeks here at the internship, um, I created a marketing tool um, that was really designed to be able to use cross-functionally across um, all the different types of like the tiers in marketing and also um, for program managers and product managers. So I was essentially um, tracking um, uh, member eligibility. And, and that has really helped uh, facilitate and streamline the process of sending out marketing communications, which, you know, was my was my biggest goal. Um, when I started the internship, I was able to um, extend beyond the 10 weeks now until December, um, because of my performance and just how well I got along with my manager and my team. Um, it's been a really supportive environment. And, I'm, and I've been here for the past six months. And it's it's a great opportunity. I think you're muted, Selena. Technical difficulties always. <laughs> um, well, before we dive into your response, Natalie, did you advocate for yourself when it came to wanting that extension or is that something that they saw what you kind of proposed to you? Yeah, um, I think as, so it was designed first June to August. And I think um, as we got into August, um, I the, the project that I was working on just unfolded even more because uh, my manager obviously saw like my resourcefulness and my problem solving and i said hey like i know i was tasked to do this one thing but i see so many more different ways that we could um transform it and take it to a different level and that's when me and my manager really you know it was a, a mutual thing um she agreed that i could really um set the foundation for potentially automating this and and that's what i've been doing um for the past three months really working with the data team um the it team to really um, take this marketing tool and and just really transform it. So it was a mutual a mutual thing. She really um, saw my desire into taking the um, my marketing tool to the next level, and you know I was really pleased with being able to um, see it through. Oh, I love that, and we'll dive more into that probably in our next question. But Will, how about you, though? Certainly, Will Phelps. Thanks for having me today. I'm really excited to share my intern, my internship experience with in-house transfers in the Bush of the California. Selena and you and I are actually part of the same class. So I'm really excited to be here with you today as well. Um, to that point and Natalie's point, when I talk about the internship program with prospective candidates, I always emphasize the personal relationships you're here to have the opportunity to build with Bush of the California are very or strong organization that's focused on driving equitable health outcomes throughout all of California. And so to Natalie's point, you have a great experience to and chance to build on those personal relationships, as well as really understanding your best fit with Blue Shield of California. And so I use my 10 week internship program with the Calpers sales team, which was a fantastic opportunity to really understand how healthcare is delivered at the account level. 
and use that experience to parlay into an opportunity to really understand my best fit with Bushel to California, where I eventually moved on to the product marketing role that I am now. Thank you for sharing, Will. And isn't it true you took advantage of another program that we have here, the Shield Emerging Leaders Program? I did as well. We have many management leadership development programs of that ilk here. There's too numerous to count. Um, there's a ton of opportunities for those that want to formally develop themselves or informally develop themselves here at Blue Shield of California. And so after finishing my 10 week internship program, I interviewed and had the opportunity to join the Shield Emerging Leader Program where I rotated for two years throughout four different assignments. And now I'm here on the product marketing team where we're launching, as of this Friday, we just announced actually we're launching an entirely virtual healthcare plan. And my internship experience and my in other experiences with Blue Shield of California led me to be being prepared for that opportunity for a smartphone driven healthcare plan that fits right in your pocket. Great. That's amazing. Yeah, I know we have quite a few leadership development programs here. So seeing you take advantage of that to help even establish, establish yourself even more is quite amazing. Um, and with that said, Will, this question's for you. What advantages did the program give you when transitioning into your full-time role? Great question. Building on those two responses of the opportunity to develop personal relationships throughout your 10-week internship program, it's a great opportunity to really navigate throughout the organization and understand where you might fit best with Blue Shield of California, as well as additionally building real world experiences here. Our interns aren't grabbing coffee or, you know, making copies or anything like that. You work on real healthcare problems that, you know, we see in the political news all the time where you see in the communities you're serving in and your current college education experience. It's a chance for you to really make an impact here in the state of California and drive forward and create the healthcare system that you want to live in. And following up on that, did you know that you wanted to come into healthcare or was this just kind of an opportunity that came in front of you and you're like, you know, I'm going to go for it and then continued on? I did. I did know I wanted to join healthcare when I started my MBA program. And so I searched out different healthcare opportunities and I had a whole bunch of other internship opportunities. But for me, our nonprofit mission focus here at the Blue Shield of California, we're nonprofit focused, so we're not focused on squeezing every little dollar out. We're focused on doing what's best for the member and the other stakeholders in our system. And for me, that was an unparalleled opportunity for my opportunity to really pursue this internship opportunity to build, develop those personal relationships and understand my best fit and then parlay that into future success with Blue Shield of California where we get to work on really great stuff like the virtual blue health plan we're launching or as well as other interns like yourself have gone on to leading our employer branding we have interns that have moved on to finance roles that ensure that we're financially sound and successful in the future the internship program is a great opportunity to parlay into future opportunities with Bushel to california and do some of the best work of your life great well thank you and just on that like trying to fulfill our mission and making healthcare affordable to all californians um, Natalie, this question's for you. So how do you feel like the work that you're currently doing impacts Blue Shield's mission? Yeah, I mean, so Blue Shield's mission is essentially to have healthier members, you know, give them the access to care, give them, um, you know, the prevention benefits. And, you know, the thing about Blue Shield is that we we provide, obviously, you know, the array of like healthcare, the, the foundation of healthcare that you would look for in any insurance provider. Um, but we also offer... Um, really just an extensive um, package of uh, value added services and benefits. So whether it's like virtual care, or like access to gyms, um, and that's really what my team leads a lot of the communications for. Um, so the most important thing is that our members are aware that they have access to tons of different uh, ways to get care beyond just like their, their main provider. Um, and what my work here at Blue Shield has done is really just facilitate that process. Um, the more we can communicate with members, um, the more likely they are to go and take advantage of all the different things that we offer and in turn just live healthier lifestyles um, with the resources that we provide. So my marketing tool has really just helped ease that ease that process so that my team members can um, work more efficiently and be able to send out those communications um, in, a, in a shorter timeline and then um, also like deliver more effective messages. Great. Thank you, Natalie. And Will, I know you touched on this a little bit, but if you can elaborate more on the impact that this has on the mission. 
Certainly. So after my internship with the sales team, I, to your point, as part of the Shield Emerging Leader Program, I had an intern opportunity to intern through four different marketing roles. A lot of our management development programs will have wide rates of internship, you know, outside of and inside of marketing as well. And so with my current opportunity, I have a chance to really push forward our new product, Virtual Glue, which is a smartphone first healthcare plan where you're bringing top 50 medical school providers um, to anywhere in the state of California as well as outside of the state of California as well. And it's a true PCP virtual relationship that you can bring anywhere with you. And so those internship experiences and other opportunities I've had with our leadership development programs were instrumental to helping me really prepare myself for this role so I can maximize the opportunity for our members and really push forward our mission of creating a healthcare system worthy of our friends and family. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I know me myself, um, being an intern here, I never saw myself in healthcare. It wasn't really a, an option that I considered. And Natalie, having a background in marketing, that's what my background was in. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go work for an agency. But then this opportunity happened to land on my lap as I was pursuing my MBA. And I be, came to like fall in love with Blue Shield and knowing what the mission is, it being a nonprofit, the work that we're doing um, and realizing that it's bigger than us, it's bigger than me. And I think at the end of the day, that's what keeps me going is like, there's more to this than what I think there is. Um, so it's great to hear both of your stories too, Will and Natalie, of how your work is impacting the mission because every little thing we do here at Blue Shield, everyone's work touches it in some way. And then on that, so for those seeking an internship opportunity with Blue Shield, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, go through the logistical things of when it comes to applying and, and go through that process. Um, but definitely when interviewing, just be your authentic self. Um, you know, try to try to offer value um, beyond of just, you know, the work or like the work that you'll that you you'd call what you do here at at Blue Shield, um, really show that you, that you care about it. You have to you have to have some sort of um, like really just desire to make a difference in people's lives, even if you don't directly see it um, in the day to day. You know that you are working um, towards like something like the greater good of of uh, overall member healthcare and and really trying to um, break barriers when it comes to um, changing the 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 healthcare industry. I would build on Natalie's point in that if you're looking for a framework and you're considering an internship opportunities with Blue Shield of California, compared to some of your maybe your other internship opportunities where they you know have a focus, our focus here is our mission of creating that healthcare system worthy of our friends and family. And so I would really tailor your application to how our mission of creating that healthcare system worthy of our friends and family here in California really fits and aligns with your career goals and how you feel you can contribute to that experience. That'll really help the recruiters and the HR teams on the other side really understand your best cultural fit with us. Um, because I would say that's a defining feature of all the employees of Blue Shield California is everybody here has made a conscious choice to be a part of this mission. It's not just a job. This is just something people have made voluntarily, really focused and conscious choices to be here. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're putting your application together, I would really build into how do you see yourself supporting that mission and being ready to ask questions about how you could learn more to support that mission as well. Great, thank you for that. And I guess another question that has come to mind, and again, this is for the both of you, we'll let you go ahead and run with this, is how has this internship helped develop you as an individual rather than what have you learned? How has this internship helped you? Yeah, um, as an individual, um, you, I kind of went into the internship um, kind of really feeling like I had big shoes to fill um, because the one thing that I love about, you know, my manager's managing style is that um, it's not very like holding your hand through each step. You know, like Will said, you're not running to like get coffee. You're not making copies. You're not doing like little menial tasks. You are really treated like another valuable, important member of the team. Like there's not like that seniority difference. Like I'm an intern, but my work and everything that I do every day is is just as important as to what my teammates are doing. Um, so really, I think this internship has helped a lot with my adaptability because you know if anybody knows healthcare, you know how complex it is, um, and there's there's no handbook. You know, you start 
you know, your first week, you're like, oh my gosh, you're dealing with governmental side of, of healthcare. You're de- dealing with commercial side of healthcare. Um, there's no handbook. Um, so you really just, you learn on the go. It's, it's a big learning curve, but it helps you grow as an individual so much. You really just, um, you can become very adaptable. Um, your problem solving skills are like, are constantly being developed. So I think, um, you know, what I've learned in, in this internship will definitely carry on, you know, here at Blue Channel, and it's really applicable anywhere, even, even outside of your, your professional life. So it's a really um, valuable learning opportunity. Great. Thank you, Natalie. And to that point, too, I know myself coming into this internship, I was hesitant to voice my opinions or if I saw something where I'm like, oh, we could be a bit more innovative in this way and ways to improve things and make it um, less manual in that sense. And at being here, I was even told by my director, like, no, use your voice. Like, we love your ideas. We love hearing from you. And that has just filled me up as an individual whether that's personally or professionally. So again, I align with what you just said of your work is valuable, whether you believe it or not. And hearing that from upper staff, like it, it's great. So, well, what about you? I would build on that. So you touch on the diversity of this organization and how we want everybody to contribute. This isn't something, an organization where if, unless your vice president has the idea, you know, that's the only way that's going to happen. This is a organization from all walks of life where um, we follow something called great place to work. And we really believe in the metrics and like really systematically driving success of creating somewhere that's a great place to work for all employees of Lucia the California as part of that from interns all the way up to the most senior leaders here. Everybody ideas are valued for how they think they can drive success throughout the system. And especially because uh, us on the health insurance and health equity and solutions side of things, we have so many multiple stakeholders here. It's not a straightforward business where like you kind of like buy the product and sell the product. Here we have multiple different stakeholders we have to work with. And so all ideas are welcome here as we seek to create that better healthcare system worthy of our friends and family. Great, thank you both. I really appreciate having you both, Natalie and Will here with me today. And again, just bringing your authentic self. That's one thing we advocate here. Um, so now, just to conclude, we'll go to our Q&A, unless either of you have anything you want to touch on before. I would just encourage everybody to reach out to Natalie and I. I know you, Selena, as well. Um, we're all former interns and would love to support throughout their application process as well. Yeah, definitely. Feel free to reach out. I, I love talking to anyone, so <laughs> uh, I'm really friendly and personable, so I'll, I'll help you out in, in whatever questions you have. Great. Well, thank you. So we'll jump to the Q&A. Um, the first question is from Tyler. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone for the questions. Um, are the internships on site or virtual? I can actually go ahead and take this one. So our internship opportunities are all remote. However, you do have to live in California in order to be considered, or if you're out of state, then come to California as there will probably be a few opportunities to come to our headquarters or other facilities just to network and also to work together with your team. So there's that. And then the next question, does the marketing or operations internship require work experience? So. Do you wanna, oh, I'll, I'll go ahead. Cause I'm, um, uh, I didn't have like a lot of experience because this internship was my first kind of like big girl job after um, graduating. Um, I did have a little bit of internship experience, but it doesn't have to be completely relevant um, to the role that you're applying to. I would say definitely just demonstrate leadership. You have to demonstrate that you're involved on your campus, you know, aside from, you know, your um, curriculum, you know, extracurriculars, whether it's sports, whether it's clubs, um, associations, um, I know I was involved with a lot of leadership development type um, associations uh, when I was in college. So definitely just demonstrate um, leadership and demonstrate that, you know, you can work with others. Um, I think that that I would say that that's really important, um, more so than having like that, you know, the like relevant work experience. I would build on that to Natalie's point. We're a highly cross-functional organization to some to, to some, some of our detriment, that's something you know, people ask me like the good, the bad, and the ugly of Blue of California, I would say, well, you have to be really comfortable working cross-functionally with many teams and many different types of people from all walks of life here. 
Um, we're not just a very like one centered focused organization. And so to our intern job opportunities, I would say if you don't have any prior experience, I would focus on how do you fit within our mission? And what valuable skills do you think you can bring to this internship? Um, but also recognizing that internship opportunity is a chance for you to grow and develop those experience as you go throughout your career as well. Lovely responses. Thank you for that and sharing your insight. Another question, um, what are some challenges in the internship? What advice would you give to someone with no healthcare background? That's a great question. Healthcare, um, per our regulatory environment and all the different stakeholders involved, it is a complex line of business compared to, say, maybe some of the opportunities you have in tech or consumer packaged goods where things are a little more mm -hmm. linear. Um, and so I will say, I'm sure, Natalie, your first 10 weeks, like you are kind of drinking through a fire hose because this you're working on real work every single week. You're meeting with your different teammates and your leadership to drive forward your internship project. And so it's an action packed internship over the course of the 10 weeks. I spoke earlier about how, like, you know, this is not a place where you're going to go get coffee. And I really mean that you're going to go out and like really make an impact in the healthcare system in California. Well, with that said, there are a lot of coffee drinkers here at Blue Shield of California. So if you want to go get coffee with somebody, there's always somebody down to do that as well. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I remember when I first heard of an internship, it was when Devil Wears Prada came out. I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to have to go get someone's laundry from the dry cleaners or go get coffee? So yeah, thank you for touching on that. And another question are there remote HR internships available, paid or unpaid? I, again, can take this one. We do have a lot of HR opportunities available. I believe we have 12 positions open under people and engagement. That's what we call our H HR human resources. And it is paid. So you're not doing your work for free. This is a paid internship opportunity um, throughout those 10 weeks. And then another question, are there internships available for those that obtained their degree in the past 10 years or so? Once again, I can answer this one because it's more on the technical side of just the internship. Um, so you either had to have recently graduated in order to pursue this internship. And we previously had a leadership program called Shield Emerging Leaders, which was geared towards those who pursued their masters. However, we're reconstructing that right now. So TBD for more information. And then and let's see, other questions. Um, do you have to be from an Ivy League school to land an internship with Blue Shield of California? No, I would say the opposite. We really value diversity. Um, and so there's people, I imagine it was, we're, we're a large organization. I imagine there's people from all the Cal States, all the UCs, all the community colleges at some point here throughout Blue Shield of California, as well as outside the state of California. We're really focused on like how you can support the mission of driving that healthcare system that's worthy of our family and friends. And so I would really focus on that during your application process. Great, thank you so much for your response, Will. And I think we touched base on this earlier, but there's a question of, is this a remote hybrid or an office position? So I think even previously before the pandemic, we did offer hybrid work. So if you wanted to work from home, you were able to, if you wanted to work from the office, you were able to as well. Um, once again, post COVID, we are fully remote, but as I mentioned, you will most likely or probably want to go into the office just to get together with coworkers, team members, collaborate on a few projects or even just visit. Um, so there's that. And I don't think we have any more questions for today, but I do want, once again, want to thank you both, Will and Natalie, for joining me today, going through these questions and sharing your own input on what your experience was like as an intern. And hopefully we get a lot of applications in. And if, once again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to connect with Natalie, Will, or myself. We'll be happy to help you. Yeah, thanks so much for having us, Selena. I would really encourage everyone to go apply. I would go apply again if I could. <laughs> so definitely, definitely apply and, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Great. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you Thank again. You. Good to see you both. Bye.